Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we're going to look at copying content over from one course into an empty course shell. And this is the new course shell for TLC 101, which is the introduction to online using D2L. And if I click on the content button, you'll notice that this course is empty. Now, it used to be when you wanted to copy content over, you'd go to Tools, Edit Course, and go to Import, Export, Copy Components. And you can still do that. Um, and it takes you to the, the tool here. Um, I'm actually going to go back to the content area, and you'll notice that in the content area, if there's nothing in there, there is an import course button. If there's already some content in here, if you click on table of contents, it still gives you the option to import a package or import content um, as well. But if um, there is nothing at all, that comes up by default right at the top of the page. And I'm going to copy an existing course. This would be the option to bring something from one course to another. This would be the option if you're going to copy in a zip file or something, maybe a package from that you've exported or something from a publisher. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this is going to take me to the same place as if I'd gone to Tools, Edit Course. And what I need to do, I'm going to copy components from another org unit. Org unit just means another course. And I'm going to click on Search for Offering. And then I'm going to type in TLC 101 to bring up previous courses. And we got the 14, not showing my 15 course. Let's try it without the underscore. And fall of 14, spring 15, summer 15, fall of 15. This is the one I want here fall of 2015. So I just put a check or put a, I click the radio button in front of that offering, click add selected, and you'll see the course listed here now. And down at the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and click on copy all components. And you'll notice that the copy is in progress. I have an update here at the bottom and we've got a spinning icon here showing that the thing has been queued and it's waiting for processing. When it's done, I get a green circle with a check mark and I get the option to copy another package in or to view the content. I'm going to go ahead and click on view content. And here is my content. I brought in all eight modules. And we should be all set. It did bring in, notice I've got some conditions set, those copied in and everything. So that's all that you need to do to import content from one course to another.